from ants and octopuses all the way to snakes and spiders. We've got a few interesting and creepy creatures to talk about today as we dive into the top 10 newly discovered species that are terrifying to scientists. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the hero ant. This is a type of ant that was officially classified in 2014. These ants nest in the ground or in rotten wood and they were found in Madagascar. The name of these ants comes from this wild technique they have when it comes to an intruder who is invading their territory. Of course, these ants feel a duty to protect their home and their colony, so what do they do when someone threatens their safety? Well, they grab a hold of the intruder and throw them and themselves off of the ant equivalent of a cliff. So far, it seems like they are the only species that willingly throws themselves off of cliffs, but hey, it earned them the name of a hero, so maybe it was all worth it. Somehow these ants are able to pick themselves up after the fall and get right back to work. In our number nine spot today, we have Salazar's Pit Viper. This new green pit viper species was discovered in 2019 and finally classified in 2020. It was first found in the Himalayas and was actually one of five new reptile species found in the area that year. If you're a Harry Potter lover, this one might be obvious, but the snake was named after the Harry Potter character Salazar Slytherin. The snake features a dark green head and yellowish green dorsal scales throughout the rest of its body. The males and females of this species have different physical characteristics, with the males having yellow orange and reddish orange stripes with a rust colored tail, which is something that is not seen on the females. The snakes are nocturnal and are often found coiled around shrubs at night. Currently their habitat is under threat due to developments such as road widening, agriculture and hydroelectric projects. Not to mention the current plans to build a 49 kilometer long road that cuts directly through their habitat. In our number 8 spot today we have the Emperor Dumbo Octopus. These guys are a new species of Dumbo Octopus that was discovered just last year. It was discovered in the Emperor Seamounts in the North Pacific Ocean just off of the coast of Japan. The location of the discovery is where they got their name from, which I thought was important to include because when I first heard their name, I thought it meant that they were huge, which was initially a little concerning. There is actually only one of these species that has ever been found, which was the single specimen that was used to confirm this discovery. Because the specimen was found alive and was the only one we've located, scientists were thankfully careful to use only non-invasive techniques to identify it, which includes micro CT scans and 3D imaging. These techniques ensure that the little guy could continue living his life while we can also learn more about it, which truly is the best of both worlds. The one we found was located at a depth of around 3,900 to 4,400 meters in the ocean. In our number seven spot today, we have the deadly sponge. To be perfectly honest, sea sponges have always kind of creeped me out. Like they're just so different and it's crazy that they really are alive. But this newly discovered species of sea sponges take takes things to a whole new level. These sponges, to something like a shrimp, would probably look like a lovely place to take a little rest stop, but upon closer examination, they're hiding a deadly little secret. While most sea sponges filter water that they flush through their bodies and get nutrients from all of the single-celled organisms that pass through, these species of sea sponges, announced in 2014, have decided that they need a little something more. That's right, these sea sponges are carnivores. These sponges feature these tiny little microscopic hooks on them that act like Velcro for that unsuspecting shrimp. Once snagged by the sponge, after a few hours, the sponge's cells will start to engulf and digest it, and within a few days, all that will be left is an empty shell. Definitely one of those circle of life things, but still, it's a little macabre to be perfectly honest. In our number six spot today, we have the Pine Rockland Trapdoor Spider. Maybe not terrifying to scientists, but definitely terrifying to me, this spider has a bit of an interesting discovery story. This spider species was actually discovered in 2012, but it wasn't really researched and found out to be a new spider species until last year in 2021. When this spider was originally found, it was located by a staff member at the Miami Zoo who was inspecting reptile research traps. When this staff member was unable to identify this 
spider based on the existing records of spiders in the area, they knew that they had found something unusual. Two years later, another one of these spiders was found and looked at by experts in the field. Rebecca Godwin, who is a PhD, who is the assistant professor of biology at Piedmont College in Demorest, Georgia, was able to confirm that this spider was in fact a previously undescribed species. After years of research, she was able to officially identify it as a new species similar to a tarantula. This discovery was extremely exciting as it came from an endangered piece of forest that is located in the middle of a city. Researchers have explained that this is just one of the many reasons why it is so important that we work to preserve these kinds of areas so that we don't lose the things we do know, but also those that we don't yet. In our number five spot today, we have the deepwater snapper. This new fish belongs to a small genus of bottom dwelling fish that are absolutely massive. There were previously three different species belonging to the genus, but this one marks the fourth. The newer discovered one is seemingly identical to one of the other already discovered species with the same bright pink color, the same usual ocean depth of around 200 to 400 meters, and they're also both usually found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. But despite all of this, the genetics of these fish are actually different. The new species also has a few small physical details that set it apart from the other others, such as smaller eyes and a black spot on the tip of its upper tail fin. It is believed that this fish had previously been misidentified as the other similar species, and since these fish are usually caught on the same fishing line, this new distinction is incredibly important for fisheries because each fish species needs to be managed differently. The fish was named in honor of Dr. Brian Bowen, who is a researcher at the University of Hawaii, who has spent over three decades of his life dedicated to studying marine fish. In our number four spot today, we have the false gecko. This is definitely among the smallest of the creatures on this list, measuring at just 42 to 52 millimeters long. These little guys were found on the southeastern tip of the main island of the Philippines, Luzon. Their scientific name comes from their tendency to hide in hollow areas such as logs. They have inverted Y-shaped markings along their entire tail, as well as golden yellow colored eyes, which apparently are reflective. Previous to the discovery of this new false gecko, there were nine other known species of false geckos, all of which are endemic to the Philippines. Because of their small size, their tendencies to hide, and their camouflage abilities, these little guys are extremely difficult to find, which is definitely part of the reason they are such a new discovery. One of the researchers on the team of scientists who discovered this new species explained that this new discovery just might create a greater appreciation for the biodiversity in the Philippines and will hopefully prompt a better management of the wilderness areas located there. Researchers are currently worried that this brand new species might be close to extinction due to habitat loss. In our number three spot today, we have marsupial frogs. These guys were discovered in 2021 and they were found in a protected part of the Amazon rainforest. It is estimated that there is the highest concentration of undiscovered animals in the Amazon, so it really makes sense that we would find a new species here. These frogs feature a green color and they have a coarse granular and patternless dorsal skin. They they have turquoise colored eyes and their venter doesn't have any sort of splotches, specks, or dots. I'm not gonna lie, I had to look up what a venter is, but I guess it's just like the belly area of the frog. You know, the more you know. These guys are called marsupial frogs because the females hold eggs in a closed dorsal pouch, which is similar to that of like a kangaroo or other kinds of marsupial animals. In our number two spot today, we have the enigma moth. This is a type of moth that was discovered back in 2015, and it is regarded as quite an exciting discovery, to be quite honest. While I personally hate moths, this one even has me feeling all right about it. On Kangaroo Island, which is in South Australia, it was discovered that the island, which has been settled since 1836, was holding an insect species that was entirely unknown to science. When these moths were found, they were realized to have more primitive features, so scientists had a job to figure out just how primitive. Turns out these guys are kind of like a living fossil. Even the most primitive moths we know of have jaws. A sign of a more recent moth is that of a tongue. But this newly discovered moth species has neither a tongue nor a jaw. All in all, this discovery is said to have been one of the most exciting in entomology in the last 40 years. One of the reasons these moths might have been hard to pin down is because their adult lives are lived in one single day. And one day they emerge from their cocoon, mate, reproduce, and then die. Definitely a jam-packed day, that's for sure. In our number one spot today, we have the Bonehouse Wasp. 
Well, really all you need to know about this one is in its name. These wasps were discovered in southeast China in 2014 and their scientific name was inspired by graveyard bone houses or ossuaries. This is because the females of this species, after they lay eggs, will riddle their home with dead ant corpses. Yeah, not exactly the same sort of nesting I was expecting, but hey, to each their own. Of course, this is thought to potentially make their nest less vulnerable to predators and the smell of the dead ants might even fully deter them and completely camouflage the nest. All in all, while it is of course a survival tactic, it's also quite a gruesome thought. Alright guys, that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye!